What's crackalackin' everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Dallas, Texas, and in this video, I wanna share with you three ways to generate $1.5 million of income, cash flow income, from three different ways. I've attempted to do it myself. Again, this is not theory, this is practical application after a guy in being in business for 24 years. I'm gonna share with you how I've done it myself. So, what is passive income? Earnings derived from a rental property, limited partnership, or other enterprise in which a person is not actively involved. So in other words, instead of you having a clock in, clock out, having to sell real estate, having to sell life insurance, having to sell legal services, having to sell medical services, you are making passive income without you physically having to push all the buttons, and yet money is still flowing into your direction. What I also wanna do is also demystify the myth of passive income that it's a set it and forget it type of thing. Like, once I establish it, it'll be in my life, and passive income is coming to my life forever and ever and ever, amen. Hallelujah, thank God. That's wrong, that's false, that's a misconception of passive income. Because here's the reality. Since the S&P 500 was created in 1957, before there was 500 companies, there was 233 companies, and that was started in 1923 during the great roaring 20s when everything was going right. But what came after the 20s? The Great Depression in the 1930s. So here are 10 companies left over from the original S&P 500 index, and these companies are Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, Whirlpool, J.P. Morgan Chase, GE, IBM, Exxon Mobil, 3M, and General Mills. So even some of the top publicly traded companies in the history of the S&P 500 index showed up and then bowed out. Showed up and then bowed out. So therefore, if you even think some of the top publicly traded companies could not last 10, 20, 30 years without active management, Listen, passive income, yes, it may not be physically you actively pushing a bunch so you make money, but it requires still a bunch of heavy lifting from you and leadership from you to have passive income continue to flow in your direction for an extended period of time. First one I wanna share with you is being a saver. If you want to be a saver, let's make some assumptions. You're earning an 8% average rate of return throughout the duration of your particular investment. You're going to retire at 67 years old. Why 67 years old? Anybody born after 1960, according to Social Security, your retirement age is 67 years old. It used to be 62, it used to be 65, and what Social Security has been doing is hoping to deter you and defer you from taking money from the Social Security system, so therefore, they don't bankrupt the system too soon. And also, we're going to assume a 4% rule, meaning that whatever you put inside this investment, you're only going to withdraw 4% of it. Let me read to you the actual rule of the 4% rule. The 4% rule is a retirement planning rule of thumb that dictates a retiree withdraw 4% of their retirement funds in the first year and remove that dollar amount adjusted for inflation every year after. So in other words, no matter what happens in the stock market, up, down, up, down, you're not going to withdraw any more than 4% from this lump sum of cash after you saved and compounded it over your lifetime. And what do you need to generate $1.5 million of passive income? What type of a lump sum do you need to create at 67 years old? That number is, drum roll please, $37.5 million. There you go, that's a go. So if you wanna generate $1.5 million of passive income, you've got to have in a lump sum at 67 years old, $37.5 million. Before you give up, let me show you how to get there. If you're 21 years old, for you to save at an 8% average rate of return, to retire at 67 years old, from 21 years old to 67, you've gotta tuck away $6,550 a month. Now, if you started later in life, just say you're 31 years old, I said, man, you know, I just wanna live up my 20s. I'm gonna go party, I'm gonna live my best life, whatever the case may be, great. If you still wanna hit the age of 67 years old with $37.5 million, then instead of saving $6,550 at 31 years old, now you gotta save $15,019 per month. You say, Matt, listen, man, I got kids, I got a wife, I'm gonna buy a house, I'm on a car, I'm gonna start saving at 41 years old, no problem. In order to still hit that $37.5 million goal, 4% rule to withdraw $1.5 million per year, you got to now save $35,974 per month in order for you to still be on track to hitting $37.5 million by the time you're 67 years old. Kind of an improbable possibility, right? That's why Robert Kiyosaki says, savers are losers. But the reason why people pick another option, which is real estate investing, which I'll unpack here in a second, is because they want to accelerate this sooner in their life than waiting 26, 36, and 46 years. Let's go to the second option. I talked to a good friend of mine here in Dallas. His name is Ladale Bugs. 
and he's a real estate investor, got access to billions of dollars. And I said, but Dale, if I'm gonna generate $1.5 million of passive income, how many buildings do I need to have? He said, Matt, let me give you an example of a deal I got going on. I've got a deal going on with 625 properties, basically apartments slash condo, they've converted to condos. And so these 625 properties slash doors for, for, for just easier visualization. So 625 doors, the average condo of, the, of this project is approximately $100,000 per door. But we gotta put a 25% down payment on each of them, so that's a $75,000 mortgage, but you need $25,000 to get in the deal per door. So if you do the math here, a 25% down payment, which is a $75,000 mortgage for a $100,000 property, times 625 properties, now you have to have a down payment of 15,625,000 down payment in order to acquire $625 million of real estate portfolio in order for you to generate $200 per month per, per door, you multiply it by 625 doors, and that's gonna equal 125,000 a month cash flow. Net mortgage, net expenses, his calculation and his pro forma is each door is gonna give me $200 per month. So in other words, you do $25,000 payment, you pay the mortgage on a $75,000 loan from the bank in order to profit for one door, 200 bucks. 200 bucks times 12 months is $2,400 per year times 625 properties. Again, doing the math, that's $1.5 million per year. So if you wanna go about and say, hey, Matt, I wanna be a real estate investor and generate $1.5 million, a buy and hold type of uh, strategy, no problem. This is the math you gotta create and find a deal for this math to fit in, regardless if you're in Chicago, if you're in Atlanta, if you're in Memphis, you're in California. This is the general scope of this particular project. So a lot of cash. So here's some pros and cons of this strategy. Pros, number one, finding below market real estate deals, especially in today's real estate environment. Number two, steady monthly cash flow. Number three, provides depreciation tax write-offs to take off taxable income from your current income that you generate from other businesses or jobs. Number four, appreciation, the potential for your property to appreciate over time. And number five, you can leverage the benefits of mortgages and real estate investors, and on paper, you're a DECA millionaire. Here's some cons. Number one, it's a long grind. This doesn't happen overnight. Number two, the ups and downs of being a landlord. There's vacancies, tenant issues, evictions. Number three, lots of maintenance. Somebody has to deal with the plumbing, somebody has to deal with the showers, somebody has to deal with the bugs, the termites, lots of maintenance. Number four, time. You gotta find the deals that fit this model. Number five, values of the property and rents may either increase or also decline. You're not in control of that. So how did my wife and I generate 1.5 million as a passive income in just eight years here since 2015? It's the insurance industry. We became not insurance producers, but agency builders. Big difference. For the first 12 years of my career, I just had an insurance license. I'd sell life insurance, I'd sell annuities, I'd sell different financial products as it regards to retirement services. I was a one man band. But the moment I understood systems, the moment I understood scale, the moment I understood there's a saying that says, listen, you don't build a company, you build people that build a company. So I said, I said you know what? Let me reshift my focus and position my skills towards not selling products but selling a vision for the people that choose to go in business with either directly or indirectly. I decided to build an insurance agency. We call it the Money Smart Movement Organization, which has offices across the country, main locations being Oak Brook, Naperville in Chicago, Illinois, Carrollton, Maryland, Tallahassee, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Hollywood, Florida, multiple offices in Memphis, Tennessee, and right here in Dallas, Texas. And my wife and I relocated here to Dallas from Chicago since 2021. So here's the bottom line. Without spending money in marketing, buying leads, doing dinner seminars, we're able to build an agency and recruit and build talent from scratch. And here's the best part about this model as compared to real estate, as compared to time necessary to save $37.5 million. I don't have any overhead in any of the offices across the country due to our model. Through our systems and our processes that we've created, I don't have to worry about buying leads for anybody, creating any lead generation, doing dinner seminars like I used to for, for the first 12 years of my career. Everybody is responsible for their own operation because the skill here necessary to build this type of business is not just people skills, it's servant leadership development. And what products and services do we provide? Well, very simple, we have our lane. Life insurance, we sell term insurance and permanent insurance. Return of premium insurance, uh, where for example, if you have a term insurance policy, people say at the end of 20, 20 30 years, I'm done with policy, but I get none of my money back. A return of premium says, if I pay for 20, 30 years of my term insurance policy and I don't die, 
I'm going to get a refund of all my premium that I paid throughout the duration of this policy for the next 20, 30 years, refunded back to me in one tax-free refund. On permanent insurance side, we do whole life, we do universal life, we do index universal life. Uh, on the annuity side of things for retirement planning and making sure people have a guaranteed income stream for the rest of their life, we do fixed and index annuities. Very simple type of insurance business. We don't do auto, we don't do home, we don't do health. We do business that's pertaining to college planning, retirement planning, and generational wealth creation type planning as well as wills and trusts, et cetera, et cetera. Some very fancy strategies. We can be very basic or we can be very sophisticated. We help clients that's mom and pop shop or we help also professional athletes and celebrities throughout our business, throughout our offices across the country. But somebody said, well, Matt, what's the pros and cons of building this type of business to generate over $1.5 million in passive income? Let me cover some of these pros and cons. Here's some of the pros. Number one, you can build a part-time or full-time sales force, your choice. Number two, you can have different managers and mentors at different levels of expertise. Number three, unlimited geographical location. You can have offices all across the country without expanding and increasing your overhead. Number four, zero cost marketing because we don't spend money on leads, we don't spend money on ads, we don't spend money on social media, Facebook advertising, it's all word of mouth. Number five, it creates a life of its own. There's a saying here, you don't build a company, you build people you build leaders and they help you build a company. Now here's some of the cons. You do need people skills, soft skills, leadership development skills. Number two, you have lots and lots and lots of patience. You're helping people go from nowhere to somewhere, from broke to balling, from zero to hero. Number three, you need to be consistent as a leader. You need to be committed as an entrepreneur. People need to know where their office is gonna be held at, what meetings are being, being held, that you need to be dependable as somebody that can lean on for coaching, training, and development. Number four, this is more of a mental anguish versus physical anguish. Sometimes it's easier to turn wrenches. Sometimes it's easier to have a 100 pound pack on your back and march 20 miles in the military versus the mental anguish it takes to basically be a financial pastor to all the people that you're coaching, teaching, and mentoring. But if you got that mental fortitude, you got that mental toughness to not only help yourself, but more importantly, help other people, there's a lot of greatness to be involved in this business. There's a saying in our industry, this could be the hardest part-time job, but the easiest full-time business. It all depends on your attitude, discipline, and consistency. Best part about this business, even if you screw up, if you screw up, guess what? The clients ask for the money back, right? You might lose a deal, okay, great. You lose a client, no problem. But you screw up in real estate. You can get fines from the local mayor, you can get permits, uh, stripped and taken away from you. Uh, you can have tenants filing a lawsuit against you. The worst part about this is it takes time, effort, and a lot of patience for this to build up. You have to avoid a lot of losses. You have to go through the ups and downs. And hopefully by the time you retire at 67 years old, hopefully you don't face a 2022, there's a negative 20% loss in the market for you to have your money exposed to your, your 37 and a half million. So therefore, if you do get exposed, you might not have $1.5 million to withdraw that year. Who knows? But here's what I love. I sat down with a Goldman Sachs guy. I said, how, can, how, how fast can you flip my $10 million into $20 million? He goes, let me help you manage expectations, John says. He says, Matt, you've gotten to where you've gotten because of this model. I know what this model does. I know what this model is capable of doing. You've gotten where you've gotten in the last eight years by building yourself from a $500 investment to creating over $1.5 million of passive income. And, and by the way, guys, this year, more of our guys are making more money than they were last year. More, more of our guys are happier this year. More of our guys are having no problem having their jobs lay them off and more guys are paying off debt, stuffing money away and preparing for worst case scenarios. Before I let you go, let me share with you another video here that you might wanna check out on how millionaires use life insurance as a wealth generation and wealth creation tool in the most tax advantage way. Please check out this video right here. That being said, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The 7 Fear Squad. If you got value out of this video, please smash that like button. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart and be money smart today.